Hi everyone, I hope your summer is going well. Today's video is a vlog documenting my first ever internship. It's at a cardiovascular and genetic research lab at the Yonglu Lin School of Medicine in NUS. For those of you who don't know, I'm a 15 year old high school student going into grade 10. I love science and I'm an aspiring medicine student, so the opportunity to intern in a lab like this was very exciting for me. I started this internship at the beginning of July 2022, and tomorrow's my last day there. So I really wanted to create a video and always remember what I learned from this experience. With that, here's a day in my life as a Foo Lab intern. The hours at Foo Lab are pretty flexible. So on days where there's more to do, they'll ask me to come in the morning, let's say at 11. But today I was asked to come in at 2 p.m. So there's still ample time to get stuff done before I leave the house. For example, this morning I woke up early and I went to the park to do some exercise and now that I've come back, I'm going to do some work. A task that the lab set for me was to count cells from images of cross sections of mice hearts. I use the software ImageJ which allows me to focus on the relevant cells and flag down the ones that I need to count. Here all the blue dots are the nuclei that are stained by DAPI, and the red smears are the macrophages, which travel to the site of inflammation. When the macrophages wrap around a nucleus, then I count it as one. I just had lunch, so I'm leaving the house at 12.25 today. I'm going to take the condo shuttle bus to the train station and then take the train all the way to Kent Bridge. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> There are some different paths that I can take to get all the way to Kent Ridge, but this time I took the east-west line to Paya Lebar, then changed to the circle line. This station is very futuristic. It's a pretty long commute, about one and a half hours, so I always find a way to entertain myself. I either read a book or listen to music or a podcast. And I arrived at Kent Ridge. I exit by NUH Medical Center where I normally have lunch. There are so many options here. Sometimes I have pokey theory. I had Subway once with one of the people in the lab, QQ Rice, a bakery, Deli France, and more. There were times when I came alone or when I came accompanied by my parents even. So, so many good memories here. There's a nine fresh here, gong cha, lots of hawker stalls, an air conditioned segment with restaurants like Pasta Express. The campus is huge, and here is the Starbucks that I always come to. It's such a nice place. Today I'm going to walk through NUH to get to the lab. I recently met my ex-allergist just here. It was so nice to catch up with him. After exiting from NUH, the MD6 building is on the left. Foo Lab is on the 8th floor. So there's a north and a south. Foo Lab's in the south. And this is the lab. This is the bench where all of us work. The lab is like a maze. And there are so many rooms. Lots of different lab equipments. Storage areas. This is the tissue culture room where I looked at growing cells. Freezer rooms to store things. Autoclaves for sterilization. The cold room. And there's so much more. The lab is very big. Today we're basically doing RNA extraction.
I'm done for the day. Today we finished at 5.50, a bit later than usual. Normally we finish from around 5 to 6. Every day after I finish, I take the same picture as like my ritual. It's here in front of the medical drive. So today is day 15 or 16. Depending on the day, sometimes I take a grab or I take the car home. I think today my dad is fetching me from NUH, so I'm waiting for him. I just got home and now it's 7.30. Now we're going to have dinner. Hello, I had a shower, I had dinner, and now is my working time for the evening. Every day after I come home from Foo Lab, I will take notes about what I learned for the day. I do it in this medicine book. Here are all the notes that I have so far. I did a lot because I really want to be able to retain this knowledge. So let's do today's entry. It's the 28th of July, day 16. Okay, here are today's notes all done. I think I'm gonna count some more cells, but after that, that will be all the food lab related things I'm going to do today. So I thought I would just take some time to reflect on my experience as a whole this month as an intern in Foo Lab. I think that at the lab, I always had something interesting and educational to do. I normally watch the research assistants or fellows or professors carry out their own experiments, but everyone was so eager to help me learn. So I often did things myself as well. Like I tried out micro pipetting and carrying out my own experiments from start to finish. Some of the protocols I learned about include polymerase chain reactions or PCRs, qPCRs which are similar but the results are shown in real time, agarose gel electrophoresis to help with genotyping, RNA extraction, and cell and tissue culture. There are so many interesting procedures and machines and equipments which I had never come across before this internship. I didn't even know how to use like this kind of pipette and it just goes to show how much I learned. Other than all the techniques that they taught me, I also got to see firsthand what working in a lab in a science research environment looks like, which was very valuable to me. I met so many interesting people during my month here. They were so kind and so passionate about science the way I am. It was so nice to see this community of people with similar interests. They really inspired me. I saw how dedicated they were to their work and how patient they were, because after all, projects like these in scientific research can take months, if not years. We also talk to each other about what we like to do outside of science. We found some similarities and some differences in our hobbies. In general, I'm just really going to miss the people that I met at Food Lab. In fact, since tomorrow's my last day, I made them some cards because I really want them to know how grateful I was for how welcoming they were to me as an intern. A lab was a new kind of environment for me, but never once did I feel really out of place. The lifestyle of a researcher was not what I expected it to be. Depending on how much work they do each day, the people at Food Lab decide when they arrive at the lab and when they leave. So sometimes the people there even stayed until like the AM in the morning, uh, just working and working. And sometimes they would leave at like 5 PM. So it's really up to them. Even their lunch hours, everything is up to them. Some of them don't even eat. <laughs> it was very surprising to me and I'm grateful that I got to see what it was like. 